Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates today we bring latest update regarding New UK Visitor Visa Rules for Paid Engagements New Rules for UK Visitors Working on a Visit Visa We examine four recent changes to the Visitor Visa Rules introduced by the former government one clarifications regarding remote working as a visitor, two the changes regarding intracorporate activities, three the greater leeway for scientists, researchers and academics undertaking research in the UK, and four the expansion of permitted activities for legal professionals. Default rule number one, visitors cannot work in the UK. As explained in the first post in this series, the default position, both under the old and new rules, is that visitors cannot work while in the UK, unless this work is one of the permitted activities that is expressly allowed in the visitor appendices. The types of permitted activities for visitors are set out in Appendix Visitor, Permitted Activities, and include some work like categories such as volunteering, a narrowly defined list of general business activities for example attending meetings, signing deals and contracts, intra-corporate activities, legal, religion, and creative for example musicians giving performances, participating in competitions or auditioning. However, even when undertaking a permitted activity, Visitors are still subject to a second default rule. Visitors generally cannot be paid by UK sources for any activities undertaken in the UK. Default rule number two, visitors cannot be paid in the UK. Under both the old and new rules, the default position is as follows. The visitor must not receive payment from a UK source for any activities undertaken in the UK. This means that even if a visitor is undertaking a permitted activity listed in Appendix Visitor, Permitted activities, they cannot be paid for this activity by a UK source, unless the payment comes under one of the following exceptions. Reasonable expenses to cover the cost of travel and subsistence. Payment as an international driver or seafarer who is undertaking one of the relevant permitted activities for example collecting goods or passengers to transport to the UK. Prize money. Payment from billing a UK client for the visitor's time in the UK though there are a number of conditions for example the visitor must be employed overseas, and the majority of the contract work must be carried out overseas. Salary payments, but only if the visitor is working for a multinational company which, for administrative reasons, handles payment of employee salaries from the UK. Payment for performances at a permit-free festival listed in Appendix Visitor. Permit free festival list, if the visitor is an artist, entertainer or musician, specific permitted paid engagements, provided certain conditions are met. These seven exceptions are the only circumstances in which visitors can be paid by a UK source for activities undertaken in the UK. This means that, one if you undertake an activity while you are in the UK as a visitor, two you are paid by a UK source for the activity, and three the payment does not fall within one of the seven exceptions listed above you will have breached the conditions of your visitor visa. As with any breach of the immigration rules, this may have serious consequences for any future immigration applications. Which visa do I need for permitted paid engagements? Under the old rules, the right type of visa was, as suggested by its name, a permitted paid engagement PP visitor visa. Visitors who were in the UK as standard visitors could not undertake permitted paid engagements, only visitors who had specifically applied for and been granted permission as a PPE visitor could undertake permitted paid engagements. Since February 2024, the category of PPE visitor no longer exists, and there are now only three types of visitor, standard visitor, marriage civil partnership visitor, and transit visitor. While the category of PPE visitor has been abolished, it is still possible for visitors to undertake permitted paid engagements albeit under the standard visitor category. It is not possible to undertake permitted paid engagements while in the UK as a marriage civil partnership visitor or as a transit visitor. This means that it is no longer necessary to apply for a specialized PP visitor visa in order to undertake permitted paid engagements. Visitors who wish to undertake permitted paid engagements in the UK simply need to one apply for and be granted a standard visitor visa, and two satisfy the additional requirements specific to permitted paid engagements.